congressional convention just wrapping up. President Trump making his case for four more years as he formally accepted his party's renomination. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Russ Palumbo live now at the White House with the major takeaways from tonight. Russ. Well, Calvin and Nicole, the president just moments ago accepting his party's renomination right here at the White House, an historic first, and the president doing it here because, as he says, quote, we're here and they're not. In his speech, the president portraying himself as the law and order candidate while saying that no one, in his opinion, will be safe in Joe Biden's America. It was a partisan vision Americans have never seen before. A sitting president using the grandeur of the White House and to give his political party's work. renomination speech. I profoundly accept this nomination for President of the United States. And after promising to make America great again four years ago, Trump now renewing for the next four. Brimming with confidence in the bright future, we will build for America over the next four years. Trump portraying himself as the law and order candidate. He just shot them! In the wake of more killing in Wisconsin after police shot another black man, Jacob Blake, in Kenosha. Your vote will decide whether we protect law-abiding Americans or whether we give free reign to violent anarchists and agitators and criminals who threaten our citizens. The president addressing the country's other crises in front of this mostly mask-free crowd of 1,500. As coronavirus has now killed more than 180,000 Americans, infected nearly 6 million, destroying the economy for millions more. We will defeat the virus, end the pandemic, and emerge stronger than ever before. Quickly returning to full employment, soaring incomes and record prosperity. All issues Trump warns will only get worse under a Biden-Harris administration. How can the Democrat Party ask to lead our country when it spends so much time tearing down our country? But Democrats already answering those attacks, saying these are all problems from Trump's America, created or made worse by four years of him. That? is the reality of America right now. Joe Biden charging that Trump, in fact, wants it that way. These guys are rooting for violence. That's what it's all about. Now the fight for that office beginning in earnest with lines clearly drawn. Our president, Donald J. Trump, believes in the people. For President Trump and for us Republicans, all black lives matter. The word impossible, well, it only motivates him. The president, perhaps down in the polls, but at the end of his convention, now up in optimism. And when I'm reelected, the best is yet to come. Well, Senator Rick Scott telling me immediately after the speech that it was really simple. The president successfully presented the major differences between him and candidate Joe Biden. But Kevin and Nicole, it's really interesting to note not a single Florida Republican was here listening to the president, not Senator Rick Scott, not Senator Marco Rubio and not Congressman Mario Diaz-Balart. It was an interesting night. Thank you, Ross.